Hi, in this video, we are going to talk about functions and relations. A relation is a set of objects such as numbers grouped with one another, which may or may not represent a pattern. So, pwedeng may pattern, pwedeng wala. Simply, it's a set of ordered pairs that are arranged in an orderly manner. Example, Billy is associated to his friends, Gabriel, Jasmine, and Louise. We can define a relation F showing Billy's association or correspondence. So, since, since friends sila ni, ni Billy, so we can denote this relation as F. So, F is the set of Billy, Billy's association to Gabriel, Billy to Jasmine, and Billy to Louise. So, this is an example of a relation. Now, relations have different kinds of correspondence. Una, we have what we call a one-to-one -one correspondence. So, each value of the independent variable x is unique. Okay, unique yan. And this is associated with a unique value of the dependent variable y. Meaning, every x, iba-iba uh, different values ng x, and yung value nila, yung uh, association nila dito sa y, nag-iisa lang din, unique din. Okay? Walang magkapareho. So, 1 to 1, meaning sa isang x, isa din yung value niya sa y. And walang nagkapareho sa kanila. Unique. So, 1 to 2, 2 to 4, 3 to 6, 4 to 8. In this figure, kahit man hindi in order, well, hindi sila naka-arrange. But, the thing is, unique x to unique y. So, isang x sa isang y. Okay? Again, that's one-to-one -one correspondence. We also have many-to-one ma many correspondence. Okay, many-to-one correspondence. Uh, there are two or more values of x that is associated with the same value of y. Again, hindi na unique, the same value of y na. So, yung values ng x, maraming values ng x na nakamap, na naka-associate sa iisang value ng y. Okay, the same. So, 1 to 4, 2 to 4, 3 to 4, 4 to 6. Take note that 1, 2, and 3 are all associated to a single value of y, which is 4. And we call that many to 1. Another correspondence is 1 to many. So, 1 to many correspondence. So here, some values of x are associated with more than one value of y. Ito naman, yung isang x kay naka-assign sa maraming value ng y. Okay, nag-iisang x ha. So we have 2 in this example, associated to 2, 4, 6, and 8. So again, 1x associated to many y. So we call that 1 to many. Next, we also have the many-to-many -many correspondence. So, some values of x and y are associated with more than one value of their counterpart. Okay. So, parang chaotic na tingnan, no? Okay. So, ang isang value, may isang value si x na mapped, na associated sa maraming y. Tapos, may isang value din si y na associated din sa maraming x. Okay. So, we call that many-to-many -many correspondence. What is a function and how it is related to relation? Okay? A function is a special kind of relation. Ah, so yung function pala, relation din siya, no? In which, no two distinct ordered pairs have the same first element. Okay? No two distinct ordered pairs have the same first element. So therefore, if we check an ordered, a set of ordered pairs, if we check whether it's a function or not, um, gaya na na-mention dun sa previous lesson natin, we check on the first element. Okay? We check on the first element. If may magkaparyong first element, then that relation is not a function. Again, pag magkapareho ang first element, then that uh, those ordered pairs or that relation is not a function. Example, Miguel, Carlo, and Bien are paired to their respective schools. Let us name this relation S. Kasi schools, no? Sige. Capital letter S. So, S is equal to Miguel to DLSU. Ito yung school niya. 
Ito yung student, si Miguel, Carlo, and Bien, si Miguel. Next, si Carlo associated to Admo, si Bien to Admo. Remember that when we check whether a relation is a function or not, we check on the first element. Okay, first element. So, first element, si Miguel, si Carlo, and si Bien. Notice that Miguel, Carlo, and Bien, walang the same, no? walang, walang magkaparihong first element. So, therefore, therefore, this is a function. So, S is a function because no two ordered pairs have the same first element. Um, we also have the vertical line test. This is another way of determining whether a given graph represents a function. Okay. Paano yan? Example, this graph right here passes the vertical line test. Since if we draw an imaginary vertical line anywhere on the graph, it would touch exactly one point. So, yung vertical line test class, pag meron tayong graph na ganito, we draw an imaginary vertical line. Vertical line, mula sa, di ba, vertical line, ganyan yan. Okay. So, we draw a vertical line anywhere on the graph. Okay. Anywhere on the graph. Okay. O, yan. Okay. Kahit saan. Okay. Vertical, imaginary lang. <laughs> imaginary lang, ano. Kung isang, isang beses lang siya nag-touch sa graph at one point lang. Okay. If it passes the graph at exactly one point, then, the graph passes the vertical line test. Okay, ibig sabihin, that graph represents a function. Okay, ano ba yung example ng hindi nakapasa sa vertical line test? Halimbawa, this graph. Okay? Okay. This graph. Alright. So, if we draw a vertical line test, notice that the vertical line passes through two points on the graph. So, meaning... Etong graph na ito, hindi siya function. Kasi dapat, function lang siya kung isang beses lang siya nag-touch sa graph. Another example would be if we have a graph like this one. Okay, that's the graph. If we draw a vertical line test here, it passes. But then, if we draw a vertical line test here, 1 point, 2 points. So, this is not a function. Kasi dito lang, okay, dito lang nakapasa, pero sa kabila, hindi nakapasa. So, again, that's not a function. Okay, that's using a vertical line test. Determine whether the following set is a function. Tandaan, if we are given um, ordered pairs, a set of ordered pairs, we check on the first element. Dapat walang magkaparehong first element, okay, para maging function. Sige, let's check. We have 2, 4, 6, 8. Oh, they are unique. So, our x, x coordinate are all unique. So, walang magkapareho. So, therefore, this is a function. Okay, no first element was repeated. Hence, the set of ordered pairs represents a function. Um, next, write all the ordered pairs in the figure and determine the type of relation depicted by the given figure. Okay, sige daw, sulat natin. Um, write all the ordered pairs in the figure. Ordered pairs, so we have negative 3 is associated to 9. Next, we have negative 1 is associated to 3. Next, we have positive 1 is associated to 3. Next, we have positive 3 associated to 9. Now, determine the type of relation depicted by the given figure. What type of relation? We have, sige, many to one type of relation. Okay, many to one. Kasi, notice we have here 3. 3 as is associated to both 1 and negative 1. And also, 9 is associated to 3 and negative 3. Okay, so, we have many to 1 correspondence. Take note that yung no first elements no, are being repeated. So, unique yan. So, this is still a function. Many to 1 is a function. 